Hey everyone, this is Dale and I want to walk you through the process of creating a new page on your blog and also incorporating that into a menu. So you'll notice that one of the requirements of a blog review three is that you have to create a new page uh, and you want to make sure that people can see that. So that's where the menus come into play. So here is a, uh, a blank site that I just created on wordpress.com. So you're obviously much more advanced than this part. Um, but I want to see what other pages the theme has created for me. So you may have noticed that your theme might have created an about page about you and you haven't really done anything with it, or it might have created a contact page and you haven't done anything about it. So now we're going to go in and actually change that. So what I want to do is I want to go to the dashboard and we're now in the WordPress dashboard. And if I click on pages, you're going to see that this theme created two other pages for me. Now, every theme is different. Your theme may not have created any pages, or your theme may have created five pages. I don't know. Every theme you uh, can pick on WordPress.com is different in terms of what it will create. Um, in terms of what this other page needs to be, an about page would be a really good example of uh, an extra page. You can do a contact page. Um, you can do a links page. Uh, you know, there are lots of options here. The thing to keep in mind is whatever you choose to do this extra page on. Now, remember, before I continue with that, a page is separate from a post. A post is like a blog post, right? This is an extra page uh, that is an additional to the home page, which many of y'all or you should have your home page set to your blog post. I want to make sure that's clear. OK. Um, this is an additional page on your site. Uh, you need the requirements just like any, or this page will require um, the same amount of content that goes into any blog post. So two to three pages, uh, two to three paragraphs of content, an image, and an external link that goes with it. So if I click on this about page, you'll see there's really nothing in here other than the default uh, settings that are there. And if I go back and click on the edit of the contact page, you'll see this as well. So, um, I want to, um, let's say I want to do an about page. So first thing I would probably want to do is I want to get rid of this contact page because I don't want that. Um, I don't want an, a blank page on my site with nothing in it. Uh, but I do want this about page. So I'm going to click edit here. And I'm going to get rid of this information because that will now go away. And for the sake of time and just showing you this example, I'm going to pull my bio off my website. Um, so here's three paragraphs of content. I'm going to go in here. Now I need an image and I need a link. So I'm going to save this image of me. Uh, let's just save it as Dale desktop to the bio, uh, Dale bio to the desktop. Uh, I'm going to go in here, add media. This should be nothing new. Y'all should know how to add images now. I'm going to go down, find this image, and uh, let's see. I'm going to align it right, and that looks about right. Okay, so now I've added this image, and I do need one external link. So how about we add a link to Texas State here? It would help if I get the address correct. There we go. Okay, so now if I hit update, um, and you'll see, now I have this content on the page. Um, so let's go back to the blog itself. And you'll see, we're just here on this blank here, this like blank site, right? Here would be my first blog post if I had it. But you'll notice we have this little tab up here. Now again, every theme is going to be different. You might have uh, a menu across the top of your page. You might have it down the side. You might have it at the bottom. Or you might have one of these little menu drop-down carrots. Every theme is different in where you are going to find this extra page. Um, think of these pages as navigation. These menus are going to be navigation on your site. So you see, if I click on that little carrot, now I have the home page, which if I click that, just takes me back to all my blog posts, right? So that's the first page on my site. But now if I click this about page, you now see here is that content that we added, okay? 
So I've got my image, I've got my three paragraphs of content, I've got my external link. So my extra page is good to go. Now, some of you will not have this menu here, okay? Uh, again, this all depends on the theme that you are selecting. Uh, so let me show you how to build that menu in case you don't have one. Go to appearances and menu, uh, appearance and menu inside of the dashboard. Um, and you're gonna see something similar to this. You may have nothing over here. If not, you'll just create a menu. Um, but here's what this is. So primary menu is fine. That's the one that we want it to do. You can see it has the pages available over here. So if this page wasn't on my menu, I would wanna click it and click add to menu. So you can see it just added it again. Here's that page that I got rid of. So what I can do here is actually go in and remove and I can remove that as well because I had already added that page. So now I have the home page and I've got the about page. And I'm gonna click save and now my menu is good to go. And you see it got rid of all the error messages there. So if you don't have a menu, you'll have to, um, it'll likely just say home here. Again, this totally depends on what theme you have selected. Uh, you'll have to go over here and click the page that you already created. So you have to create the page first it will then show up here, click that, click add to menu, and then click save menu. And now somewhere, depending on your theme, that menu will show up on your blog.